The Jing province was a key area of conflict between Wei, Wu, and Shu during the Three Kingdoms era. It was at this time that Lu Meng, who had succeeded Lu Su's post as Wu strategist, was sent to Jing to battle the great Shu general, Guan Yu. Lu Meng used his strategic prowess to trap Guan Yu in a vulnerable position. In 219 AD, when Guan Yu engaged the Wei army at Font Castle, Lu Meng sent the unit to block Guan Yu's rear flank and cut off his escape route. With enemies to the front and rear, Guan Yu had no choice but to retreat to nearby Mai Castle. However, with no reinforcements in sight, Guan Yu ultimately resolved to strike out. It was now up to Lu Meng to finish what he began and defeat the corner Shu general. Alright, so here's the next legend scenario, Lu Meng scenario, Siege of Mai Castle, and the special rules, well, there aren't any, so here we go. Alright, the equipment, the weapon, as you know, we have the White Tiger at level 10. The items, it's been a while, but I'll show off exactly what I'm going to be using. So here we go. The bodyguard to leave it to. The objectives. We have to defeat Guan Yu and not allow him to retreat. Also, if I die, if the time runs out, we lose. Um, you need info. For the Wu forces, you have Lu Meng, which is me, and Jian Xin. For the Shu forces, you have Guan Yu and Guan Ping, Liao Hua, and Zhou Song. Alright, let's do it. So, pretty much it's a chase. You just gotta make sure that Guan Yu does not get away. Um, it's not as difficult as it seems in comparison to the tale of the Battle of My Castle. So, you don't have to worry about that much when it comes to Guan Yu trying to get away. There will be an ambush unit ready for Guan Yu right around where the escape point is. But you'll see that in a bit. So in order to open up my castle, all you have to do is defeat both Zhou Song and Liao Hua. But here's the thing, they are very tanky. They pretty much have commander stats. So just, um, and obviously you can tell because of the, uh, the yellow ore. But um, for the fact that I actually have the attack uh, times two of battle axe, I should say. Uh, Zhou Song was very easy to defeat, but um, Liao Hua might be a little bit more difficult since I don't have that, but if I wind up getting it, it will become a little bit easier. I mean, granted, I still have the Warble Warp, so there we go. Now all I have is Liao Hua. Oh yeah, that's right. I keep on forgetting that level, I mean, I, I know... I keep on saying it when I unlock the level 10 weapons, but sometimes you have that, you know, bad memory, like, well, for me anyways. I'm not saying my memory is shit. All I'm saying is with all the shit that I go, I am, like, with my real life stuff, I forget a couple of things here and there. But, um, I forgot that the Vorpal Orb is in effect if, even if your Musu Gauge isn't cleared up all the, well, filled up all the way. Um with the help of that level 10 weapon. So, anyways, time to move on. Uh, I'll grab the Musu Wine right here because it's in this section here. If you were to look online to find out where the Dim Sum is, just uh, keep in mind that, uh, that, that I was trying to look for it all over the place. It says north of Guan Yu's initial position. Well, any place that I checked anyways. You want to check north of where Guan Yu would be if he gets ambushed, like where he's at right now. So, when it comes to those ambushes, like I said before, like right in the beginning, Lu Meng would have ambush ambushes ready for Guan Yu. So, you have the following over there. You have Zhu Ran, Pan Zhang, and Ma Zhang. However, as you can tell, their morale is very low. I mean, granted, Guan Yu is still low. But the fact of the matter is, it's low, and you need to make sure that they all don't get defeated, because if they do, then it will be pretty much straightforward for Guan Yu to get away. So, make sure you head over there quickly. Very well. I shall run no more. Come forth. I challenge you. I 
shall use all the skills at my disposal, Guan Yu. So once you approach Guan Yu, you shouldn't have anything to worry about with him getting away. Um, if you go for Guan Ping first, then Guan Yu will be a little bit more difficult to defeat. I'm going to go for him anyways, just for the fact that I try to go for every officer and general that I see. So, I mean, unless I have to do a certain requirement that will prevent me from doing that, then I'll pretty much try to go for everybody. Alright, now I'll go for Guan Yu. Yeah, I saw that one coming. Fortunately, I have that tourist amulet on. Really? Alright, there you go. Now I'm starting to get hits on him. And that should... No, it won't. If he was still in the air, he would have been down. Alright, now he's down. And that's a win. All right. So that's another one down. Our KO count is 88, which isn't a lot, but still. Anyways, a worthy opponent count is four. We defeated everybody in the stage. Uh, bear with me with the points. But um, I'm going to go on a little ramble here for a sec. Um, I don't know if you guys realized, but... This order that I have been doing, well, the, this particular order of, uh, well, anyway, we got 6,388 points. So, I mean, it doesn't matter because Lu Mong's rank is at max. But as I was saying, I think you guys might have known the coincidence of the order I have been doing these legend modes in, if that makes any sense. Um, I pretty much have done this order before. This is actually the same exact order I've done the Musa modes in in Dynasty Warriors 3's Let's Perfect that I've, I've done. Um, the only reason why I'm saying that is because well we only have three more Legend modes left for the Three Kingdoms and those are the three characters that are new in this game. Yui Ying, Zhao Ren, and Zhou Tai. Also I have the other forces. So I have ten more left. And uh, I'm going to continue doing the legend modes in, you know, the Shu, Wei, and Wu order. So I'll be doing the three new characters. Uh, it might be breaking uh, tradition kind of when it comes to the uh, order from here to Dynasty Warriors 3. But no matter what, it will be breaking some type of weird, uh, some weird pattern whether it's Three Kingdoms to other forces back to Three Kingdoms or just the order I have done this in the past. So I'm going to, my next uh, Legend Mode will be Yui Yang's. But anyways, enough of the ramble. Um, but yeah, I only have 10 left and then after that we'll move on to the next uh, uh, Legend Mode. Wow, the next uh, thing that I need to do, which there's not much left. There really isn't and it's hard to believe that Looking back, I mean, it took me a lot longer than, well, it took me way longer than I thought it would be, simply between personal issues and all that stuff, but 
hopefully my next one will be a lot smoother but that's just my luck anyways all right i'm on i'm done with the ramble but anyways i'll talk about that when i finish the less perfect so the weapon experience doesn't matter because we have the level 10 weapon the bodyguards as you know i can give two shits the grade we got an a not perfect score but that's fine anyways we'll save and there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures featuring Dynasty Warriors 4. And in some cases, Extreme Legends, but for me, it's still 4. And I'll see you in the next part. We'll go and move on to the next Legend scenario, which will be Yui Yings. So, peace out.